Hey there guys, I'm a Kitch and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with me, who else would it be? And yeah, it's me because I, I am amazing. No, I'm not. I'm not amazing. That's cocky and people who are cocky should be murdered. Right, what happens if I stand in here? See, I knew it. Oh wow, well that was useful. Stop! Get out! You guys can't even touch my level. That's how high up in your shindig I is gonna get! Like, I'm gonna go for a old, like, you know, where he's like, do the A thing. Just waiting for him to go for the... What is he doing? He's like running away from me because he's a pussy ass bitch. Hey, how do I do that A thing again? I don't I wasn't listening to what he said. Oh, you completely missed. And he's dead. Right, we should probably go back in that part um, of, illicit, uh, of illicit substances so that we can now go back. Look. Whee! We're amazing. Oh, yeah. Right. Is, right, right. That sounded so weird there when I was like, right. I usually say right, not right. Right, lads, come on, let's go. Breakfast, dinner. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is what happens. I just randomly talk about general shiz biscuits. Hey, sup, bro? You got a big sword. I want your sword because it is better than any other sword I could ever think of. And you're dead. That's, but in all seriousness, I do need that sword because, uh, yeah. If I could just take that sword, yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Thanks. Right. So, I have a feeling... Something to do with these chicken sticks, because there is fire, and then there's one without fire, and you know, you always need a bit of fire in your life, don't you? Like, you know the old saying, life without fire is, like, life, but without fire. You know? Everybody knows that saying. If you don't know that saying, I don't know where you've been in the past 20 years, even though I'm not 20. But yeah, you know, it's the principle that counts, isn't it? Okay, this chest looks quite delicious. What do you have for me in your chest? I quite like, quite like. Oh yeah, look at it, he's delving into that chest, boy. What do you see? You see a map, a treasure chart. Once you are out at sea, after viewing this chart, the spot where the treasure lies will light up. Go to that area and rely on this chart to guide you to the spot. Then you can get the treasure. Mm. See, I remember... I don't remember this. Oh damn it! There's probably like a hidden switch in here. Um, I don't remember this. Oh wow! You were you. How did you get in there? How did you get stuck in that barrel or whatever it is? It's not really a barrel. It's more of a more of a basket, a vase, or a decorative object, if you if you will, a object of decoration, as others might say. God, he must have really, like, he must have had a really bad bet at work or something. He's like, oh, bro, I bet you can't get in this barrel. And he's like, nah, nah, I can get in this barrel for sure. And then he, like, gets in the barrel. And then he's like, guys, guys, I can't get out of this barrel. And then they're all like, oh, bro, he's stuck in the barrel. And then they all leave him. And then he's like, there's somebody in here. And he's like, okay, they'll, they'll help me out of this barrel. And then what I pretty much did was um, just pretty much killed him inside like he's crying inside to himself um right so there must be something i'm missing here because it doesn't seem like i am getting out of here anytime soon oh hey so uh, oh that guy see look how many people are in these barrels see look there's another guy who's stuck in the barrel who is just having a nice day there we go look at that i knew I, what did I say? I said there'll be something in the barrel. But yeah, he was just like chilling out, having a nice evening, and he's put in this barrel and he's like, Guys, this isn't funny. I want to get out of this barrel now, please. Thank you. It would be much appreciated, muchly. Okay, look at this little fire scorpion dude. Um, I'm just going to pick you up and throw you into the lava. That probably won't kill you because you are a fire scorpion. I'm pretty sure, like, the last thing that's gonna. Oh! That did not go well. 
Okay. Let's try again then. Shall we? Let's see my favorite part again. Shall we? I wanna hit your eye! I gotta hit his eye or something. I don't know. I don't like these fire scorpions. They're too... They're too... Illicit. With their instructions. They just seem to... Like, he won't let me see his eye. I need to attack... Oh! Go! Go for the eye! He hit it open! There we go. Right. Um... I kind of need a little bit of health. Come on, wait for him to open up. Open up, lad. Come on. Come on, open up your eye. He's opening! There we go. Come on. Should be third times. Third time is always a charm. Is he still alive? He is still alive, but you know. We got this. Either way. Nonetheless. Go! Four times. Maybe more. Come on. This is one of the most epic action scenes. Just look at him standing on that rock. His legs are swaying. He's squatting. He squats, bro. And then we've got this guy here who's like, Sup! I'm gonna knock you off my rock! No! Damn it! That did not go the way it was supposed to, but... Sometimes in life we do have these repercussions where things just don't go as we hope. And then you just gotta try and hit the scorpion that represents life's ever-present danger! in society okay so this is actually quite a metaphorical bar blah, 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 blah. if you believe in more if you believe in metaphors um, this is quite a metaphorical battle because the scorpion does represent life and its hardships and this island represents how sometimes we may be far away from others but yet we can still overcome our challenges yeah, see this is, this is thinking about things a lot more metaphorically than you should. Where is the scorpion even gone? Is he just like ditched? He's like, oh, I can't be bothered with this anymore. I'm out. Oh, no, he's come to, he's come to get on my level on a completely different level. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Bro, he, he's going in. He's going, come on, get your sword out, bro. What is he doing? Come on, man up. Open up your eye. There it goes! Go! Is it dead? It is still not dead. The epic battle does continue. Somehow. He's just not... He's having none of it. He's having none of it. He doesn't want to die. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to die either, but... I wouldn't be this much of a... Bishwa. What, what's he doing? He's like... Getting stuck. He's falling over. Come on. Take it like a man. Go! No! Don't fall off the... Cliff, mate. Doesn't work well for you, does it? He's gonna open up. No, he fell off. He went to open up and fell off the thing. There we go. No, he's still not dead. Come on. Just open up and die. Come on. Go! How are you not dead? No! That is ridiculous. This is one of the most frustrating battles of my life, not going to lie. Can I like throw water at him and then just like attack the ship? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. This whole time I've been wasting by hitting him into a thing. All I had to do was that and I get one heart out of it. Wow. That was, that was, I'm so glad I did that. Right. Let's try this again then. Instead of doing a shitty little metaphorical battle, we don't need to worry about that. We just need to have our little thing. Don't miss it. Come on. You actually that disabled that you miss it? Actually, that's not nice. We should not. We should not laugh about people for their disabilities. But you, sir, are going down in a way you can never understand. Because we are never getting back together. Um. There we go. He exploded. I would like another heart, please. Oh, three. Three hearts, all into the lava. Brilliant. That is just how life goes for you, isn't it? Just when you think you're doing well, life is like, no. You know how life is like a box of chocolates? Yeah, well, you never know what you're going to get. Let's go! Only oh, get off! There we go. Look at that. He's safe now. I was worried for a minute, thinking he might die, but we made it through, and we actually survived quite sufficiently and quite well. 
Right then, so now where are we doing this thing? This skeleton brains. I'm not too sure what the skeleton brains represent. I think they represent the whole mediocrity of life. No, I, I, I'm going to stop with these things because none of them make any sense to me, you, or Jesus. Because Jesus is, after all, someone we have to all listen to in life. Right, blow that up. A secret door. What a surprise. Let's go through here. Enter the pothole. See, because it's a pot. But it's also a portal, so it's like a pothole, because you know how there are those things called a pothole? Yeah. It's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> Don't laugh. And uh, then I want to go through this one again, and then it should, look at him zooming in with his eye, and then it should take me to the thing, if all goes well. Um, yes! Genius! Right, what was that glowing light when I jumped out? Or was that just because I'm fantastically awesome? Right, what do we have out here then that might be of use to us? Oh look, it is the dragon. He looks like he has explosive diarrhea. No wonder he's in so much pain. But I have a feeling there's something I should look at in here. But I don't know what, how, who... What, when, and where to get there. I guess this is somewhere we will come to later on. It is not necessary as of now. We shall go talk to the dragon and see why he has these explosive poops. Because explosive poops are not nice. They're quite the opposite, actually. Explosive poops are very unpleasant for you. Look at that ambient occlusion. Lens flare. Okay. Oh, look at that. She got captured. What a surprise. Here be hi. Oh, there's a guy behind me. He's going in for a swipe, but for some reason you didn't change perspective. And now go back to the other guy, because he is going to be trying some funny business. Now the other guy is going to be there, but he's lost his sword. He is no match for the one they call me. Oh, no. Look at that. He's the bird that I thought I killed. But apparently not, is there. Look at him, he's like, sup bro, and I'm like, sup, do you wanna... Yeah, got your piggy ass. Whoa, what up? You don't know what's up because you are a pig. Come on, come on, get up, get up, fight like a man. Fight me like a man, bro. Yeah. He didn't even know how to fight me IRL. You know, in real life. What's this, an orb? An orb of sorts? A mystical orb? Can I- do I hit it or what? Oh, it just had- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person is apparently of great worth. Okay. Well, I want to pick up these coins, but for some reason it- No! There we go. That was, that was quite close, but I want to get these barrels before I talk to this lady. Uh, because she doesn't seem to deserve my attention. But I think I shall end there for this episode as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. And if you have, you know what you have to do. You have to go tell your friends and be like, Yo! Look at this dude. He's trying. He's trying. So maybe we should, like, give him a chance. But yeah, that's up to you. Good day.